Welcome to Tithes TV. Good day brothers and sisters. Tithing is the one of the most controversial topic among Christian. Christians divides into two group in this matter. The first half favor of tithes, and the other half not. Which of the two tells the truth? You. Are you in favor about tithing? But, did you know that there are people who really give tithes? Let's check it out who they are, and what they say about tithing. But before we go on, don't forget to subscribe, share and hit the notification button for more videos. Colgate Founder Give Tithe? Yes, the Colgate Founder Give Tithe. His name is William Colgate. William Colgate is the owner and founder of Colgate. When he was 16 years old he left home to find employment in New York City. He had previously worked in a soap manufacturing shop. When he told the captain of the canal boat upon which he was traveling that he planned to make soap in New York City the man gave him this advice. Someone will soon be the leading soap maker in New York. You can be that person. But you must never lose sight of the fact that the soap you make has been given to you by God. Honor him by sharing what you earn. Begin by tithing all you receive. William Colgate felt the urge to tithe because he recognized that God was the giver of all that he possessed, not only of opportunity, but even of the elements which were used in the manufacture of his products. Personal Life He was born on January 25, 1783, at Hollingbourne, Kent, Great Britain. Died on March 25, 1857, aged 74. Married to Mary Gilbert. And blessed four children, Robert, James Borman, Samuel, and Mary. William Colgate came to New York City in 1804. He there obtained employment as an apprentice to a soap boiler. He closely watched the methods practiced by his employer, noting what seemed to him to be mismanagement, and learned useful lessons for his own guidance. William Colgate Founder In 1806 William established a starch, soap, and candle business in Manhattan, on Dutch Street. In 1820, he started a starch factory across the Hudson in Jersey City. William followed his goal of prosperity through life, and became one of the most prosperous men in the city of New York. This circumstance, together with his great wisdom and counsel, and his readiness to aid in all useful and practicable enterprises, gave him a wide influence in the community, and especially in the denomination of which he was from early life an active and honored member. Colgate Building Giving Ability Colgate was a tither throughout his long and successful business career. He gave not merely one-tenth of the earnings of Colgate's soap products, but he gave two-tenths, then three-tenths, and finally five-tenths of all his income to the work of God in the world. Colgate annually subscribed money to assist in defraying the expenses of Hamilton Literary and Theological Institution, later Madison University and Theological Seminary. And he was among the most strenuous opponents of their removal to the city of Rochester. His sons James and Samuel were both benefactors of Madison University and Theological Seminary. After seven decades of the Colgate's involvement, the school was renamed Colgate University in 1890. Colgate University Colgate was a regular contributor to the funds of the Baptist Missionary Union, and took upon himself the entire support of a foreign missionary. During the later days of his life he revealed the origin of his devotion to the idea of tithing. When captain of a boat told him, Someone will soon be the leading soap maker in New York. 
you can be that person. But you must never lose sight of the fact that the soap you make has been given to you by God. Honor him by sharing what you earn. Begin by tithing all you receive. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification button for the next video. Tithes TV says. The true rich man are those who can give tithe. God bless you.